Hey, welcome to part two um, of this video of week one. I feel like this camera is a lot darker now for the second video. Looks like I have no teeth. They're all black. Okay, this is weird. It's freaking me out. Anyways, so um, I'm going to go over now how to complete the, uh, the library research assignment. Okay. Uh, and hopefully this will only take about 15 minutes for me to go over this. All right, so we left off talking about the discussion board, introduce yourself assignment, okay? And so then the last assignment that we need to do is the finding sources assignment, okay? Um, I have an example of this first, first assignment, the way it should look, okay? And then I have this MLA formatting page that I want you to use for the assignment. So the assignment says this, after reading the chapter fiction as a genre, which is just right up here, look, here it is, uh, it's one of those, <laughs> okay, um, after reading that chapter, visit the Gwinnett Technical College's library site, click on the 1102 LibGuide. After viewing the tutorial, click on the Practice Researching and select the Literary Reference Center, which I'll show you. I'm going to show you all this. For each of the following stories, find an article from the reference book titled Master Plot in the Literary Reference Center and post the MLA citation in the MLA template form I've attached here. So, you are using this MLA doc, uh, formatting document page to submit your uh, as the, um, the document that you use to submit your your uh, work cited page, okay? Um, the final result is gonna look like this, example of first assignment format. So what you are going to submit here is going to look like this. It's gonna have, you're gonna have your name, you're gonna have my name, you're going to have uh, my, this class, English 1102, and then you have the due date um, of the assignment, uh, which I put the 13th. Actually, the due date is, I think, the 19th. Yes. So the due date, oh, well, I know what our due date is. It's based upon this sheet right here. Uh, finding sources assignment, yep, the 19th. So you should actually put, that should actually say 19th. You're going to have your last name up here with a page number, finding sources assignment, and then you're going to have three citations, which I want to show you how to find in just a moment. This is the way yours is going to look when you submit it, okay? But you're starting off here, which means that you need to put your name here, Ethan Smith. You put your last name here in all caps, Smith. Instructor's name, my, my, me, Mr. Byers, Mr. Byers. Course, of course you need to put that. English 1102, due date, January 19, 2021. Title, finding sources assignment. There's the bell. Go to class. <laughs> okay. So where you go is you scroll up. Um, oh, you can watch this video. Be good for you to watch the library tutorial on using LibGuides. Okay. Go up here. And you see this says 1102 LibGuides. Click on this. All right. Here we go. Then click on Galileo. Galileo, Galileo. Okay. Then you scroll down. Master Plots is contained within Literary Reference Center Plus. So just click on Literary Reference Plus. Okay. You don't actually have to go to Biblic. You don't actually have to go to whatever the assignment asks. This is fine. Literary Reference Center. This is a great place. Okay. Now the assignment though did ask us ask us to look up an article for each of these stories. So you can 
copy and paste. Story of an hour. Paste. Okay. Search. Okay. Um, full text. I say do uh, literary criticism. And then um, pick one. Just pick one. Okay. That sounds interesting. This is about flash fiction. This presents an, this one's just an analysis of the story. Okay. I like flash fiction. That's pretty cool. All right. So you click here. And it would be good for you to actually read it. You can go here to PDF full text. And uh, you can actually read the work. Okay. All right. And so then, oops, I didn't mean to do that yet. So you can read it. And then when you're ready to cite, okay, this is what you do. So I've read it, blah, 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 blah. You know, maybe not, I don't read all 16 pages, but I just read some of it, so I had an idea. I click back. I'm looking at this. This is the the uh, citation information, okay? And all you have to do is go over here to the right-hand side where it says cite. Click on it. Scroll down until you find MLA. That's what we use, Modern Language Association. This, this is what we use to cite our sources. Okay, just highlight it, copy it, go to your um, assignment, okay, hit enter. You need to come up here to the left hand side so that way you're aligned to the left. And you hit, and then you paste it. Oh, I didn't, hold on. It didn't copy it. Hold on. Let's try this again. Copy. Okay. Copy. Let's go back now. Delete. Okay, paste. Now, works cited pages uh, are set up like this, where the first line of your citation, the last name, is the full length of the line. But any lines after, any lines after the last name of the author, they need to be indented. But if you go to that line and you hit tab, the whole thing indents. That's annoying. I'm hitting backspace now. So what you do is you go to the the last word of the first line, and then you hit the tab button, and it indents the second line. Same thing here, okay? This citation, it needs to be indented from the second and third line. The first line is not indented, okay? Just the second and third line. Those are indented. And you see this is on its own line because it's too long. To be up there. Okay. All right. So there's one. One is done. Cool. Easy. Go to the next one. The passing of the Grandison. I'm copying it. I'm going here. I'm going up to search. I'm pasting. Search. All right. Cool. So right here. This presents the short story, okay? I don't I don't need to present the story. I want an analysis. Okay. This is an analysis of the story. Oh, this one presents a literary criticism of the short story. Cool. I want to get it. I'm going to read some of it. So that way I'm, you know, educated. I'm not going to read probably all 17 pages, just to be honest, but I'm going to read some of it. Okay. Then I'm going to go back. I'm going to cite it. I'm going to scroll down to MLA, and I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm, then I'm going to copy it, 
And then I'm going to come to my page if my computer stops being stupid. And then I'm going to go to my next line. Oops, no way. When I when I when I post it, look, you have three options. You can do this one and it shows you that 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 looks weird. It's highlighted. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to the next one. Oh, look. That looks like my stuff. So I'm going to post that. Okay. Now look, this this, this uh, citation is four lines long. That's two. I I need to in, since since there is more than one line, I have to indent the three lines that come after the first one. So I go to the end of the line and I hit tab and it indents it. Same thing. I go to the end of this line and I hit tab and it indents it. And I need to indent also the web address. So I go to the end of this line and I hit tab. Okay. Boom. Done. And then finally I do the last one. The open boat. Copy. Go up here. I paste the open boat. Okay. I hit search. All right, a literary analysis of the short story. Cool, a literary analysis. That's what I want. I go here. I read. I read it just so that way I'm educated. And then I go down to site. Scroll down to MLA. Highlight, copy. Go back to my assignment. Go to the next line. I go to paste, not that one, that's ugly. Oh, that one, that's good. I see that it's three lines long, but I need to indent numbers two and three. So I go to the end of the first line, hit my tab button, go to the end of the second line, hit my tab button. Great, almost done. Only problem is my citations need to be in alphabetical order by the last name, E. O C. Okay. So you see E is fine. O is fine because E comes before O. But C comes at the very top. So I highlight. I hold my mouse on it. Hold the button down. And I move it up. And now we have alphabetical order. C E O. Great. Every line is indented. Awesome. I don't have any extra lines between my my name my teacher's name the date uh, i'm sorry the class the date the source and each line i don't have any extra lines in between no extra spaces between anything and the way i know that is that i can go to paragraph i click up here and i look at spacing the line spacing is double but also it's zero between before and zero with after. That's the way it should be. Zero, zero. Sometimes people have eight right here. They have eight, which then adds a space between. And that's wrong. That's incorrect. You got to make sure that this is zero, which is why if you download this formatting page, it will already be correctly set up for you. Okay. That's it. Now I would save this as my MLA form as my finding sources assignment. And then I would go and I would post, I would turn it in. All right, turn it in right here. Easy as that. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay. So you have an example, you have the four writing page that you should use, and I just demonstrated how fast it takes to do this assignment. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. All right, y'all. Have a great first week.